everyone, welcome to Carrie's Crochet and Craft. I'm here at the Friday Market and I've made a couple sales so far so I'm really excited. We're not even an hour into the market yet. So just wanted to show you my setup. It's a little bit different today. I put out some of my other stuff so I'm just going to show you. So it has been rainy here this morning. I was setting up in raindrops um, but it stopped for a bit. Might start later on today. But right now it stopped and we actually have customers coming through so that's good but i put out some of my hanging baskets and little baskets some coasters that i made from rag strips and then these are some tea towels that i made and back there you see some of my baby blankets that i make those are minky and faux fleece pink ones and the whale one is actually made with organic cotton fabric these are some nursery sets that I make. Um, these here have a minky blanket with flannel backing and a swaddling cloth and then a little owl stuffy that I make. These ones are just missing the owl. And then these are a whole bunch of baby blankets that I make. These I've made over time so it's not like I made it for this week. These I've just had in storage for a little while. And also these bears as well. I, have, I made these last year for another market that I was at. So I didn't make a whole lot for this week. Um, I actually made three of these pencils. Since I had people asking, I had this little set set out and I had little girls, little kids asking just how much the pencils were. And I'm like, but it's a set. <laughs> so anyway, I ended up making just a piece of paper and then three pencils and I sold a pencil already. So that's pretty cool. I've already sold two of my little mini eggs. So these are little makeup bags that I make. I did the vinyl on the outside of them. I didn't sew the bags, I just put the vinyl on the outside. So anyway, that's my setup today. And I'll let you know how things go throughout the day. I'm sitting here crocheting. Just thought I'd show you guys what I'm making. Of course I got my white yarn from Premiere finally. So I've been, I started a project last night. I thought, well, I could make something to sell at the market, but I decided to start this and it's not going to be done for today. But I think this cute little zebra is so cute. I got the muzzle done so far and I'm working on the one. So I love it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to sit here and crochet until a customer comes. <laughs> Raindrops. I'm hearing raindrops. Yep. Felt it on the head. <laughs> I need to move in a bit. It's starting to rain. Yep. I 
the step over here is getting hit by rain. for a market report from last Friday's market. Um, you saw my setup and you I think I told you some of the things that I had sold so just gonna give you a report as to what else sold that day. So I sold two of those pencils that I made for seven dollars each. I was waffling back and forth whether I should do five dollars or seven dollars and I opted for seven and they didn't even balk at the price. So Seven's a good price for that, it seems. Then I sold one of the nursery sets that I make. It's a minky blanket. And then, um, I think I said this earlier, a minky blanket with a swaddling cloth and then an owl stuffy that I make out of fabric. Um, <clears throat> so I, And then that same person also brought, bought two of those little mini eggs that I make and one small squid. So that was $61. Then I sold a jellyfish for 20, a mushroom guy for 10, a little frog for eight. Um, I sold a medium sized octo for $5, a pocket octo and then one of those little hanging baskets that I have, you might see it on the table. Um, sold those and the little girl is going to use that hanging wall basket as like a little home for the pocket octo. Very cute. Um, so I sold those two things for $10. and the medium sized squid, the larger squid for $18 and then a mini octo for $3. So that total for the day was $149. And then you take away the booth fee of $25 and the gas there and back is $20. So $45. So that makes it $104 for the day. Much better than the week before. So um, still, you know, still good to go. Um, definitely not as worth it as it was at the beginning of the summer. We've just had a couple really slow weeks there. Now, I am planning to go tomorrow. This is actually Thursday again. Um, so I am signed up to go tomorrow. I'm not sure I'm going to make it for the rest of September, though. Because I, this past week, I have been so incredibly busy. Um, I had been enrolling, or sorry, I had been homeschooling. Uh, my three younger boys, my oldest is done, he's going to be off to college this year, but my second oldest son 
um, he wanted to be enrolled in our local academy, high school level. And so that started, um, this is the second week, so it started a week ago, week, a week and a half ago. Last week was all half days to start the year out, and then this week we started in. And you'd think my schedule would be a little bit lighter with not having, you know, a third, third boy around to homeschool, but there's the beginning of the school year parent meeting. There's the there's a backpacking trip coming up. The parents need to go to that meeting. There's uh, the band is going on a huge band tour to Hawaii this year. Every four years they do the big trip. The other three years they do smaller trips closer by. This is the big year, so we had to have a parent meeting about the band trip that's coming up in spring. And then um, last night was supposed to be another meeting about people doing athletics. Uh, he had thought of doing um, track this next spring, so I was going to have to go to that meeting, but thank goodness he's kind of changed his mind, at least for now, so <laughs> I didn't have to go to that meeting. And then tonight was karate. So this whole week I have had hardly any time, and at times not the desire, <laughs> to do any crocheting. I did get a few things done. Um, I was going to join in the Cameron's Cute Creations or Cute Crochet, I something like that. She has a channel on YouTube. I think it's Cameron's Cute cr Creations. Uh, C-A-M-R-Y-N is how she spells her name. She was having like a stock your, you know, stock your booth challenge so you have enough stuff to sell at the fall markets. And I thought that would be fun to join in on. It was just supposed to be like crochet two hours a day. And she even gave ideas of, of what to crochet or you could come up with your own things just to just to kind of commit yourself to crocheting two hours a day. Um, yeah, I did some on Sunday. It was actually supposed to be like Monday through Friday. Um, but I, no, I, I couldn't, I just couldn't. So anyway, uh, just to, for that, I did, um, I did crochet a little bit. Like I said, I have a, several skeins of the Scrubology yarn from Hobby Lobby. So I'm want to use that up because while it's nice to have these, I don't know if I want to keep making them, but at the very least, I just want to use up that yarn so it's not hanging around. So I still have more to do, but I was able to make a teal one or turquoise one and then two red ones and then a black one. And then I have half of a red one and half of a blue one made. So I just need to finish those. So that's, that's what I made this week. This is what happens when my life gets really busy. <laughs> Some of you ask how much I, how I get so much done. Um, when life gets busy, I don't get much done. I don't feel like I'm terribly busy the rest of the time, but this past week and a half, two weeks, just crazy. So I did not get much made for the market tomorrow. I did, however, also start on a turtle. Um, I had gotten this green yarn as one of the mystery yarns from Premier, and so I made... Uh, some of the suggestions were to make it into a turtle. So I started that. I, I need. I have another leg somewhere. Sorry, just trying to find it in my basket here. I do have all four legs. <laughs> um, so and then I had this um, yarn from. Um, let me see here. I have it right over here. It is Big Twist. I got it on clearance at Joann's. Um, Seven ninety seven for the skein. And they may have had like a twenty five percent off clearance too. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh, so anyway, it kind of matches the green of this yarn that I had. So I was using this to make a turtle and I have it all done except for the belly and so I just need to finish putting that. So maybe I can get this done for the market tomorrow. And then um, I don't know if you've seen in my videos of my past markets, I have a purse. Um, what did I do with that paper? See, this is my life right now. Scattered, scattered, scattered. Um, okay, so it's a fluffy purse anyway. Sorry, something in my eye. And um, so it's using the Bernat Sheepy yarn. And I have, I sold, I think, a blue one. And I have a lavender one still yet. I am there. Someone who's uh, seen my stuff for several weeks. She's another vendor there, actually. And she's asked if I have 
pink one, which I didn't, but I found some of this in pink. And so I started making one of these um, purses and it'll be for her. So it's, I mean, she hasn't paid for it yet, but it's basically sold once I get it done and see her again. So I'm hoping to be able to see her tomorrow and so sh then she'll buy this. Just need to finish it, but I am about halfway done, so it shouldn't take it shouldn't take more than an hour to finish this. And I have handles for it too. So that's that. I mean, that's my last market recap and my prep for tomorrow's market. <laughs> not much, not much done there. So yeah, I'll give you a an update. I'll see if I can video tomorrow, make sure I take my camera. If I'm not too scatterbrained to forget it and um, go from there. So we'll see you. Bye.